Hi, and welcome back. So you've taken some amazing pictures with your drone. This is, would be considered an amazing picture, but you notice that you, there are some other pictures online and they're like, wow, how'd they get that color with the lens? Some people use ND filters, right? And some people um, work on their desktop via post-production and whether it's their favorite editor, Photoshop, Premiere, Lightroom, etc. You can achieve the same effect because they all have the same filter uh, in the plugin, but it's just it just takes time, right? And so I'm going to show you a little trick on how to turn this. See this picture right here? Okay, just going to shrink it out a little bit. Now you can turn that. Whoops. Hmm, that's strange. Anyway, into this. Right, all done by just using the raw camera filter. Okay, same picture, same drone, same time, same place, and it works really well. It's like night and day. Okay, so let's get started. Find the folder or the picture you want to work with. Okay, and when you do it, select it just one time and duplicate it because you always want to work with the copy, never the original. Because if you screw it up and you find out that those aren't the colors that you want. Um, the only thing left to do is to go back and take another picture. All right, so I'm going to choose my editor, Photoshop. Just drag it on there. Whatever you use is what you use. Okay, I'm going to close that one or actually leave it open. All right, so here we are. Here's your picture. Remember, you're working with the copy. First step, see how my brightness? It's halfway. You want to be working with it at 100%. So that you know, because if you're working at it like this, you're like, oh, wow, I need to um, make the image a little brighter for sure. No, first brighten that and then work with the resolutions accordingly. All right. Again, this is preference. So now what you're going to do is you're going to click on, on whatever. Where, this is in Photoshop. OK, I'm going to click on camera raw filter. OK, this menu will appear, this experience, as I would say. All right, I like to start with the basics, okay? And I like to just give a little hint of everything. So you have temperature, too much purple, it goes this way, that way. Where's the midway point? You have to decide. So for me, I like to see how it changes. It made it a little bit darker, but that's okay because everything is going to balance off, right? See, too light, too dark, just right. Remember that this is winter, okay? Tint. Tint. In case you're wondering, it does that. Remember, we're adding a little bit of hint of everything. A little bit of hint is going to go a long way. Exposure, in case you're wondering what that was, it's like a transitional effect that you usually see in movies. You don't want to overexpose or underexpose, right? Remember, for, and remember, each image works different because for the time of day this image was taken, this is the lighting at the time, right? So um, this might work for every image that was taken during this time but not if you went back in the morning. Contrast. So look at the contrast. See the contrast brings it, look at that. Brings the trees out a little bit, brings the home out a little bit, bringing the contrast down and nothing. Remember, we're only gonna add a hint because it's gonna be a combination of other, right, presets that are going to just blend and work together to create that, what you saw in the beginning. All right, look at that, highlights. So I like, look at the fence. See that? You can either underexpose it, overexpose it, but if you bring it down a little bit, it's it's like a, a crapshoot. But you have to think about what, see, see, look at that. It brings it out, brings it a little bit brighter, but we don't want to do too many highlights, right? Just a little bit, remember, because a little is going to go a long way. Look at this. See the shadows? So watch the shadows. You pay attention to the details. Maybe for this, we can do a little bit of shadows. Remember, this is a winter scene, so things aren't always so, but things are a little bit like a Ansel Adams calendar, you know, with that little bit of darkness. Whites. Whites, see, it brings the image back to what it was before when I was screwing around with it, right? But we don't want too much white, and sometimes you don't need any, right? Because remember, it's going to be a combination of everything that will blend right in, okay? Texture. Look at the texture. See, everything's a little bit blurry. And what the texture does is, watch, I'm going to point over here. Look at the tree line, okay? After I mess around with the texture, 
Wow, look at that. More detail in the picture. But remember, I don't want to over detail it, right? But clarity. And remember, this is a shot in uh, 4K. Now, to think that it was shot in 4K, I guess 4K isn't really 4K because it left out a lot of um, texture that can only be enhanced right here. Look at that. Look at that texture, which look, that looks kind of cool. Now, remember, this is preference. I might leave it like that. Okay, clarity. Uh, wow. Now look at the forest. You can look into it. You can see all the shadows and the depth in the forest. Here everything becomes a little bit washed away. But look at that. But now you can see the tree line and the depth and etc. So the clarity actually looks really nice. Okay. So we'll leave it there though. We don't want to overkill. Dehaze. In case you're wondering what the dehaze does. That Look at that. Now in case you can't see the difference, I'm going to bring it back down. Okay. The dehaze. Look at the grass over here, okay? After I dehaze a little bit, all right? So it's looking more wintry. Look at that. Remember, we don't want to overexpose it. Look, amazing. Saturation, vibrance, okay? Look at that. So too much, we, it just overkills it. No, it just, it doesn't work. It doesn't work for everything, but just a tad, not a little, a tad okay like 30 yeah i'd say 30 okay because look too green too oversaturated which vibrance where you would think that it would be the other way around right so we're just going to do a tad I'll leave it at 20. saturation of course the um photoshop application does oversaturate your processor um now, see, look at that. Similar to what was above. Um, for this, I would say just a tad, right? Because you, you want to bring out the dead grass. You don't want to everything to look so dead. And as you can see, you know, it's winter. Everyone's grass turns that way on the uh, East Coast. We could just bring it to life a little bit. Not a lot, okay? But a little bit. A little bit goes a long way. Look how they look at the blues that just popped out um over there I'm, I'm not really sure what that is it's like a little all the blues that people have on the side of their house and something back there um that uh just kicked in okay so we can lower that a little bit the saturation let's see that it just makes it a little bit like a black and white type experience so we can just go back to zero okay just leave it like that and if you want to fix it a little bit, just do a little, not a lot, but a little bit. Okay. All right. Now we're going to go scroll down a little bit, actually scroll back up and close basic since we're done with it. All right. And then click on curves. If, if you want to adjust the curves, you can do that. Uh, if you want to go back to detail and sharpening, right. That works a little bit but I wouldn't mess with this as of yet. But as you can see, if in case you're wondering what did he do, the tree line becomes more detailed, but we don't wanna, we don't need all the extra detail. We wanna leave like a little bit of organic approach and leave things natural. As for the noise reduction, um, it does, see the grass, it looks kind of weird. It doesn't look like grass anymore. It kind of reduces it a little bit to like this flatness. Um, but you can add a little bit of noise, which some filters actually do have. So we'll just add a little noise. Leave it at 11. Okay. Color noise reduction. In case you're wondering what that does. Not much. It does, it does give a little bit of kick over here, which looks really nice. Um, but we don't want to overkill. Remember, too much is too much. Okay. All right. So now we're going to scroll back, right? and um, close the detail um, you can do color grading if you want optics now this is my final step okay which i like to do distort distort is what's going to bring the image like into that wow too little too much which you see a lot on pictures for real estate um you have that lens effect that just looks like like the place isn't really that big so to Leave things simple. I'd say a magic number of minus four. Look at that. 
beautiful kick, right? Like just not too much, not too little, but just right. Now you can mess with this however you like. Um, so now when I click OK, because I'm happy with this and you have to be happy with it. All right. Click OK. It's saving. Look at that. OK, now I'm going to do save as. Save has AMAZ amazing. OK, we're going to save it as amazing and then click save. Onto desktop. We want the largest size and we're going to go back to our desktop and voila, there it is. I'm going to drag it on to preview. Look at that. Look at what we just did without an ND filter, right? And let's look at the other one and compare the original. Now, all your friends are going to tell you that this is great. It is because, you know, no one's going to actually know what good is when they haven't seen what's actually better. So let's just shrink that in a little bit, shrink that in. Oh, that's the wow one. Actually, we should be looking at the amazing. Um, there we go. Wow, this one has, this was like, this one should be wow because it has more of a kick to it. Okay, so we'll delete this one or just put it in that folder. And now look, night and day. So now this is pretty much it. We actually brought the image to life, right? It's just that much easier. And yet, of course, it requires time, okay? Um, so find the time to make the images a little better before posting them. And um, remember, you have to be happy with them. Uh, looks like the blues disappeared, which is great. I was wondering what they were. Might have been part of the uh, experience when working with the filter. Certain things get highlighted. But there you go. Look at this. Look at the highlight. Look at that. The trees just came out. The grass is greener. The house, the roofs, you can see. So and that's it. I hope this video helps you in moving forward with making your, your images better than what they were. Um, and feel free to leave your comments and suggestions down below. And I'll see you guys next time.